I think you're crazy. It's driving me crazy. Good morning, y'all. Um, good afternoon. Good evening, my family. I'm going to get right to the point. Welcome to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. Okay. I think I need to say this because I think I need to clarify what some of the problems are that not only do we have with the covenant from Ice Cube uh, and not so much as the uh, contract per se, not saying that the, there's a flaw with that at all. And no, I haven't read it. I I know what the covenant uh, with Black America is. I know what the uh, what came out of the Million Man's March. I know what Tavis Smiley did. Okay, I'm not saying that because I read those. This is not sufficient. Okay, so I'm going to delve into it. The thing that bothers me the most is. While I know that uh, Charlemagne does a very good job of beginning to talk to people about mental health, but I think it's important to, for the rest of us to really, really grasp that when you are abused, which most of the people that live in this country are psychologically, emotionally, we're not right. We're not well. Okay. Um, the Caucasian the the dominant person is not well from all the mental abuse that they've uh, put upon us and the guilt and the emotional and the uh, cognitive dissonance that they suffer or wondering about we're go if we're going to try to get revenge or not. So that's a mind screw for them. They're constantly trying to come up with ways to keep us from doing anything that would remotely look like a rebellion. Okay. So that has to wear on your psyche after a while. Now, those of us who are a victim and those of us who are oppressed, who have been victimized, we have a whole set of emotional problems as well, okay? And there's a real thin line, okay? There's a very, very thin line. And we were just chipping along, chipping along, knowing that some things have got to happen and some things have got to improve because we're coming to the end of our rope. And with all this police brutality, uh, with all us finally coming to realize that you have stolen all of our wealth and that all of us are um, surviving off 0.2%. While y'all got 98, it can't happen. It, it, and the sad part about it is the arrogant and the pompousness of you all to think that you were so great that you earned this. No, 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 no. You earned it off the backs of my grand, my ancestors. And you got free labor. Hell, if I could just find a virtual assistant that I don't have to uh, pay for a few hours, I know I've done well. But y'all had people work forever and ever and ever, which was like 400 something years. And you stole. And after that, there was, just the, the Jim Crow and all the other stuff and the peonage and the stealing of our land, uh, no Fort Acres and a mule. And so I contend that the people that started the country were narcissists. Anytime you can sit there and break bread with somebody, the next thing you know, they've invented whiteness and they starting to hold you captive. Okay. That's a sick individual. Now, here we are. Can you trust? The main topic here, y'all, is can you trust a nut? Now, any of y'all that I would ask outside this uh, uh, broadcast, y'all would say, hell no. Hell to the no. I can't trust nobody. No, that's a nut. Hell no. Now, all this talking about negotiating and talking with both sides, we gave the... Uh, right side and the left side, right? Democrat, Republican. But as far as I'm concerned, different wings, same bird, okay? Both of them crooks. 
Ice Cube is 100% right in saying that he wanted to see, you know, he knows that there's racism in the uh, 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 Democratic Party with Biden. Here's my problem. I don't want nobody holding me accountable for what I said 40 years ago, especially if I was using dope. I'm just going to keep it straight up 100% with you. If I was out here on this road or if I was out here doing the things 40 years ago that I did, playing with one of the baddest show bands in the land, at least in the Midwest, okay, Um, shout out to Seal Johnson, Selena's daddy. Some of those guys, old heads, we shared the bill with. I was young, doing things that I should not have done. No, but 40 years ago, 50 years ago, there's a lot of things I said that I don't mean anymore. And I, if I would have to look at the results of my words of 40 years ago, I would have to come before you and say, listen, 40 years ago, this was my condition. And hope that y'all would live long enough that one day you understand that you, gonna, you if you live long enough, you're going to say a lot of things that 40 years ago you lived the regret. A lot of y'all ain't going to live that long, so you don't even understand. You can't reckon what I'm talking about because you're glad if you just reached 25. My whole problem with this whole thing is that you're dealing with a madman. You don't never know what a, mad, a nut's going to do. You have to get, not that Joe Biden is not a racist. No, that's not even an issue. You dealing with somebody who is psychological, who's a psychopath. And you mean, tell me, y'all don't know the difference? That's why he got to go. You cannot negotiate. You cannot uh, do any of those things that you would remotely do with something and somebody who's normal. One man again because I can't let this happen. Get your butt back there and be quiet. Get. No. No, Mufasa. No. Get. Come on, family. Here's what I'm trying to say. Especially black folk. We're so trauma bonded. Um, so emotionally disturbed. Emotionally. Not mentally. A lot of us are mentally disturbed. But most of us are emotionally disturbed. Most of us have been projected upon gas lit. Um, have families who have done this and who are very, very abusive. So we're not a very good judge of character unless we've been to therapy, unless we can recognize and point out abusive behavior. A lot of us want to roll with old school. Oh, that's just where it, it's stuff supposed to be. No, it's not. OK, and until you put yourself in a situation where you are active and getting some therapy, that's why this channel talks about narcissism. Yeah, we talk about other stuff, too, because to me, it's all entwined as far as I'm concerned. Now, when you go get this book, if you don't have it, it might cost you, I don't know what it is, a couple hundred dollars or whatever. You got to understand what you're dealing with when you're dealing with Donald Trump. You're not just dealing only with a racist. Look at, oh, you want to dismiss what his sister says about their family or origin? Are you dismissing what all these people say? You just think they hold a, a grudge? Maybe Bob Woodard, uh, Cohen, you think uh, uh, Scaramucci, oh, they just hold the grudge. Are you that stupid? There was a madman driving the car. I don't want to negotiate with the madman about nothing. I want him out and I want him gone. 
so we can identify the other races that may be not psychotic and psychologically inept so we can just deal with their racism. Can't deal with both of them now because we already got enough trauma. And for those of y'all who are used to it, have never had any treatment to understand and to recognize and to point it out, Lord, help us. Help us. I don't give a damn that uh, uh, it's not that Donald Trump is just a racist. Y'all not even looking at this. Q, uh, a cube, like I said before, I look at who your friends are. In order for you to stay relevant for years and years and years and years and years and years, and years at some point, these wicked demons know when they're going to use you, how they're going to use you. And even if it's just for a photo op to make the rest of us feel a certain way. And that's what they did to you. Your friend runs around with Steve O'Bannon. Steve Bannon, I'm sorry. He's an outright racist. Now, I can take your word for it because you said fuck the police. Um, and I can say, okay, he wouldn't do that. But I've come through too long and I've seen too many things. I've seen Reverend Kyle say he stood out the way so the guy could get a good shot. I watched Jesse Jackson put the uh, blood on his shirt and pretend that he was the last person holding Dr. King's head. What about... uh? Uh, 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 Ali up there with Malcolm giving a mouth to mouth resuscitation and the other person I'm not saying you were Judas Iscariot but what I am saying is did they come back to you and they using you like they did Oprah we hate no Oprah because when you think for all that wealth Oprah got she don't gotta pay the piper at all they're not going to come back and ask her to do a Michael Jackson story why he dead? What do you think they're giving y'all that money for? It? Why do you think you remain irrelevant? Because when they need you, you got to answer. Now, y'all might not want to say nothing. Y'all might not want to agree with me. and You might not want to tell the truth about it. I don't care. But I know how it goes. I know how it goes. Unless we deal with Donald Trump in terms of a mental madman in office, no covenant, no contract, no uh, agreement with him is going to suffice or anybody like him. They're crazy and they got the codes. So what I'm trying to do is let it happen. Let it be. What is he going to do? Because I want him gone. Period. I want him to fuck out. Excuse my language. You got people with all kinds of anxieties. This man is kicking up because we know he's sick. And y'all sit up here trying to debate on whether you should negotiate with him with a covenant. You better hope this fool don't push the button. Look. Listen. It's checkmate on y'all Negroes. It's checkmate. Checkmate. 